What is going on, folks? It is K-Spade the Prospect, back with a brand new season and a brand new episode of Welcome to Sin City. Man, this is my UNLV Running Rebels football series here in NCAA 14. I got brand new rosters. I got a brand new lineup, man. Brand new everything, man. So if you're new to the series, go ahead and bang that like button because trust me, you're going to like it. Go ahead and bang subscribe and all, all the guys that's already supporting the series. Let's get into it. This year right here, man, we turning all the way up. There's nothing left to do, man. I'll see you guys down on the field. It's electric. I can feel the energy in the crowd, man. Sam Boyd Stadium is filled to capacity. The fans have came out in droves to get a look at this team for the first time in the history of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Two five-star talents are out here on the field, one on the offensive end, one on the defensive end, and that one on the defensive end just made the first tackle of the season. I'm talking about Zach Moore, the number one rated player in the nation. Coach K-Spade was able to bring that guy over to the Rebels. And the expectation level is high. Oh, hold on. I'm sitting here big up in this defense and Zach Moore. And look at this play right here. Zach Abbey, the quarterback for Navy, picks up almost 40 yards on the ground with the keeper. Look, Navy runs this wishbone triple option, man. They got an up back, a down back, a right back, a left back. They got running backs everywhere. The quarterback is basically a running back. And hold on, we got an injury on the field. You got to change the voice right here. It's an injury on the field. Somebody was hurt. However, he was able to be helped off the field. We're going to get an update on that and see if the kid is okay. Zach Abbey goes down for a loss to put this team in a third and long situation. Navy's offense really isn't known for moving the football through the air, and that's probably why. That was a great pass. The receiver ain't used to catching. All he do is block out there. He could not make the catch. We get our first look at the high-powered offense of the Rebels. Now, this team has a brand-new OC. Even though they bring back an experienced quarterback, an experienced running back, all eyes will be on five-star recruit wide receiver Leon Swift. They are expecting big things from this guy. Man, look, Jerry Rice Jr. came to this school, man. They are expecting this guy to be the most phenomenal wide receiver they've ever seen. As you can see, man, Navy did lose one of their players to a concussion. Hopefully the kid will be okay. He won't be back today, though. He's got to sit down. He's going to be out for the game. Rebels go back to the air. Makai Stevenson, the speech, the 12 yards on the comeback route. Later in that drive, third and 10, Armani Rogers stands in the pocket, takes a hit, throws to his brand new target, Leon Swift, who gets into the end zone. I'm telling you, six foot five, true freshman Leon Swift is everything you want in a wide receiver. He's tall, he's fast, he's strong, he can jump, he can get the ball on the high pointed pass, he can do it all. At least that's what the scouts believe. We'll see. We get our first look at running back LaParis Bang. Now, if you guys don't remember, this guy was heavily recruited by the Rebels. He decided not to go with UNLV. He actually committed to Penn State, was unhappy with his playing time, and transferred to the Navy. I, I don't know who does that. Like, who transfers to the Navy? And just like that, look at Leon Swift. This guy's a game changer. I, I don't know what to say. I, I haven't seen anything like this. this I don't know what skin. to say. Think before you ink, I got this ink all of my hands. Man, I'm growing up and I'm changing. Don't try to knock me out of my plans. Armani Rogers is known to be a big physical quarterback. He can run, he can throw. He's never had the type. Of, look, this is no disrespect to Makai Stevenson or Darren Woods Jr. Or any of these other capable wide receivers on this team. He's never had a talent like Leon Swift. Never. Never. Ever. Let's get into it. Let me get back. I'm sorry. I'm getting lost right here. 14-0 game, man. Navy trying to put a little drive together. You get a chance to see. Look, that's K-Spade Jr. who was in on the tackle on the Paris Bang on the last play. This time comes up. Puts a big-time hit on Abby. Abby looks to be okay. Gets back up. Third and short. They're going to run a little bit of the triple option themselves. Abby keeps it. He runs into Spade Jr. again. The coach's kid missed a lot of games last season with an injury. He broke his collarbone. The kid is back. They are expecting big things from him. I'm telling you, man, I'm excited about this team. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. The excitement level is hot. 
Zach Abbey having a really good game against this defense, though. Almost 50 yards on the ground. You expect Navy to run the football. The problem is, you look at this game, man. They're down 14-0. It's still in the first quarter. These rounds are nice, but at some point, they're going to have to move the ball through the air. Or are they? Zach Abbey making defenders miss right there, picking up another seven on the ground. He's really looking comfortable against this defense. The hits ain't taking a toll on him. The pressure's not taking a toll on him. The pass bang, breaking a tackle in the backfield. But there's so much speed over there, man. It's speed. Rebel pride, man. The defense flying to the football, bringing him down for a loss. We jump ahead. Second quarter action. Zach Abbey keeps it again. This man is, he's a tough kid. He's taking some punishment. Seven yards on the play. Later in that drive on third and short. Abbey drops back the pass. Quick little simple route. I like it. Look at the number one player in the nation, Zach Moore, lowering the boom on Petway. Petway holds on to the football, though, and this drive continues. First and 10, Abby, again, wrapped up. Is that Zach Moore? Zach Moore is in on every play. If it's not Zach Moore, it's K Spade Jr. These two kids, they, they, I'm telling you, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Second and five, they go back on the ground, and I like this. Brandon Mansfield, a big physical running back, able to push the defenders off of him. Not fast at all, but he's able to get the first down. The drive continues. Abby gets into the end zone. Who saw this? Navy's showing that they're not afraid, putting up a fight. Zach Abbey is fired up. The team is fired up, and that's an amazing drive for this Navy team. Way to respond. 14-0, the one thing they have to prove now is that they can somehow or another stop the UNLV offense. So far, we haven't seen any proof that they can or even know what a stop looks like. They don't know. However, I don't know. Matt Gibbons right here gets credit for the deflection. It just hit him in the back. You got to get your head around, kid. That's an interception. If you turn around, what are you doing? Navy back on the ground. Triple option play to bang. I was expecting a big collision at the end of that play. Evan Austry comes over. Look, Bang has a reputation of being a physical back. He will drag defenders. He'll run some defenders over. It's not a whole lot of game film to study on this kid as he's kind of bounced around. He's finally getting the opportunity to get on the field. Everything we know about him, we know about him from high school. And this is a whole different game, whole different beast. He might not even be that guy anymore. And look at this. Beautiful interception right here. I don't know whose fault that is. I, I guess you got to put it on the quarterback. The DB didn't really have to do anything. It was kind of thrown to him. Rebels offense back on the field, three and a half minutes on the clock. They would like to score again. Xavier Campbell on the screen play, 11 yards for a minute. It looked like he had the entire field in front of him. Kind of got caught from behind. This is something we're not accustomed to seeing from Lexington Thomas. You know, Lexington, you ain't really catching him from behind. But Xavier Campbell is an able running back. You will see some great things from this kid this year as well. He's a bigger back, more physical back. And they also like to get him up in the A-gap. You'll see him run through the gaps a whole lot more. Second and short, read option, Armani Rogers spinning, bouncing outside. This guy can go, he's got wheels, cuts on the Jets, gets to the five and dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Rebel score again. Armani Rogers, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you with the running attack this team has and now with the passing threats, cause you gotta think, Stevenson, Makai Stevenson with his speed, Swift with his speed and his height. This team can go vertical now, and they still got the tight end and receivers that can go across the middle. This offense, I'm expecting big things from them. If they don't produce this year, I'll be the biggest critic on this team. Second and short, I thought that was going to be an INT. The DB was there, or should I say the linebacker was there. Didn't make a play. First and 10 for Abby. He's got a minute and a half. He's looking down the field, and they really try to dial up all these short plays for him. He just couldn't get away from the defense. Third and 12. I don't think Navy has anything in their playbook that'll get them 12 yards, and you can see what I'm saying right there. Like, they sent a couple of receivers deep. Abby never even looked down there. He didn't even consider throwing the football that far, and they're going to attempt a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. He's got enough leg, but it's going to be wide left. We go into the half. It is a 21-7 game. UNLV offenses look really good. The defenses look good in spurts. I still want to see the team fight a little harder. I want to see them look a little better. Second half, it is something that we've got accustomed to seeing. Coach Spade is going to send these guys out. He's going to tell them to run the football. They already look like they probably could just throw it up to Swift whenever they needed a first down or a big play. He wants to run this football. He wants to eat a little bit of clock, wear this defense out. We've seen it. This is his fourth, starting out to be his fourth season as the Rebels head coach. And now we kind of, we're used to his tendencies. We know what this guy likes to do. Xavier Campbell gets eight on the ground right here. It's going to bring up a second and short. Let's see what they do. Rodgers drops back. It's a quick slant play, but Armani decides to keep it. 
gets a lot of yards on the play, safely slides down to the field. You don't want this kid getting hurt, even though I know they've got other talented kids at the quarterback position. You were expecting Armani Rodgers to do big things this year. Like, the kid looked great last year, but he's got really good weapons around him. You would hate for him to get hurt in a game where you're up two scores because he's running. On a non-designed running play, look what he can do. Rodgers to Swift again, 27-yard touchdown reception. Leon Swift, folks, is a true freshman. Look at this catch. I'm telling you, this might be the most exciting team in the NCAA, the UNLV Rebels. You got to keep an eye on these guys. 28-7 is the score. Navy did show a little bit of life early in this game. They really haven't shown anything through the air. And being down multiple scores at this point, you are really wanting this team to throw the football, and it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Zach Abbey tries to run, gets hit by K-Spade Jr., fumbles the football, Rebels on the recovery. That is true freshman Zach Moore, the freshman on this Rebels team. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is crazy. And if you think you're not going to see 27 flying to the football, you haven't been watching. Spade Jr. is everywhere the football is, and he's going to do that the entire season. Folks, it's the fourth quarter, 28-7 is to score the Rebels offense back on the field, eating a little bit of clock, just running that football. Not many carries at all for Xavier Campbell, only 11 carries. So I, the offense may be changing. Like I said, it's a new OC over there. Who knows? Like, the complete identity of this team hasn't even been revealed yet. Nobody really knows if this team is going to come out and play like the Rebels of old. They may not. They still got a good running back. They got a great stable of running backs. If we're being honest, I just don't know the way they're going to choose to attack defenses this year. Let's see. Still running it right here. Second and short, they give it to Xavier again, putting his head down, bowling some dudes over. 11-yard pickup on the plate inside the five-yard line. Why not turn it around and give it to Zay again? Zay breaks the tackle, falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. I think that's enough, man. We draw the curtains. The first game, the, the season opener, the home opener, it was nothing short of what we expected it to be. Armani Rogers was phenomenal. Through the air, on the ground, whatever they needed the kid to do, he made plays. I think most importantly, they really expecting this kid to cut down on his turnovers this year, and this is a great way to start the season. Anyway, folks, it is K-Spade the Prospect signing off from Sam Boyd Stadium here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. And I'll say it again, if you're new, hit subscribe. I'm out the next time, folks. Peace.